Hi, folks. Kevin Barheit here. Thanks for tuning in. One of the things that's a recurring topic is the child sexual abuse that I uh, was a victim of uh, and endured when I was younger. And again, there's a little trigger warning right here as we talk a little bit about this. So uh, be careful um, if this brings up any issues for you. When I was nine years old, the uh, 4-H leader that I had um, as a child molested me. I won't go into any graphic details here. And later, when I was 15, an another major incident happened uh, where I was raped by two men, and that was a significant uh, structural change in my understanding of who I am. I think one of the most important things for me to point out is that I'm talking about this very comfortably. I know that for many people, again, this could be triggering, this can be hard to digest. I think that one of the things, I, again, I really want to point out is the distance has been pretty, pretty um, significant. When this all happened, I was nine and 15, and I'm, I'm oh, I guess, 40 years past that, 40 or 50 years past that now. That took a lot of doing to get to the point to be able to converse like this in front of a camera, in front of an audience, in front of people. Mostly, really, what it took was the one-on-one -on -one work that I did with folks in 12-step work, uh, with therapists, with counselors. And I think it's that one-on-one -on -one that allowed me to slowly go from someone who couldn't keep his eyes up when he was talking about this to someone who could raise his eyes tentatively and be able to hesitantly bring some of these topics up to someone who could then admit these things that happened and then eventually recognizing the one thing that was really key and this is what I wanted to bring it to today. Being able to share this information is not something I feel is gratuitous. I don't feel like it's in any way me trying to therapeutically work through this. Thank goodness many years of therapeutic activity and all the ways I discussed have brought me to a point where I believe it's uh, behind me. Uh, for the most part, of course, there's always things that can trip me up here and there, but I'm pretty confident that a lot of this is behind me. The change seemed to have happened for me to where you see now, it started to happen when I realized that my experiences, no matter how traumatic they were, if I could heal from them and get some, some ground underneath me so that the earth didn't shake every step I took, that the most important thing I could do with the past that had traumatized me is share it with other people to hopefully walk hand in hand and we could heal together. Once I realized that the people that had been in my life had really had a lot of trauma in their life, most of them, and they had worked through it and then reached back for me so we could work this through together. One of the most important things I realized is my job, my responsibility, my obligation, and I say that my obligation for myself and to others, was not to continue to reach to those people who had initially reached out to me, continue to do that, but also reach out to others who hadn't begun the journey or had just started to stumble through who were still in so much pain, who were still looking straight down and couldn't raise their eyes. And when, they, we, when we did raise our eyes, they were full of tears. You know, I can tell you the days and days and hours and weeks and months and years that the tears just flowed. The body just felt like it would never, ever feel like it was in its own skin. I never felt like my body was even mine. I felt like my body was anyone's. And again, trigger warnings here, but I felt like a piece of meat. And that was a terrible way to live. It made me feel like I was on fire constantly. To heal through that allowed me to really realize that I've got to do something with this. I've got to do something with the healing that occurred. I've got to do something. And the main thing I realized was the people that had reached out to me, they were actually continuing to heal by reaching out and helping me and doing the work together. And I realized that was going to be the real paradox here. My reaching out to others and talking to other people when they were struggling and that they were at the beginning of this process or any stage of the process. That was going to continue my healing process. That was going to continue giving me an opportunity for growth, for spiritual growth, for mental growth, for emotional growth. And I think, I hope you can see it, but I can feel it right now. My skin feels like mine. I feel like this skin is mine, this body is mine, and it's protected by me. It's loved by me. It's cared for by me, and I am not a piece of meat. 
and I am not for anyone to abuse, use, or take advantage of. I trip over this still sometimes. I'm not saying that I'm 100%. Like I said, some days I do feel maybe 94.8%, and other days I might feel like I'm 79.2%. Very rarely, I can't remember the last time I felt 50% or 60%. And those were the days when I couldn't really even lift my head up. Those were the days when I could barely have clothes touching my body because I felt so raw. Those are the days when I didn't want to leave the house. Now I know that if I'm feeling at that 70, let's say below 80%, I'm using percentages and I don't know why, but I'm feeling not quite safe, I know to take care of myself. I know that I'm gonna to need to take some extra time for mindfulness, for meditation. I'm gonna eat my oatmeal slow in the morning with blueberries and flaxseed. Okay, now you know my morning routine. Recognizing when I need to care for myself, pulling back and saying it's okay, I don't have to be 100%, but I'm not gonna allow myself to go back to that 0%, which is really where I lived for most of the time. I had no value, no worth, except for those, of course, who saw me as someone with no value or no worth, except as a victim that they could manipulate. Thanks for tuning in today. I know some of this is disturbing. If you have any thoughts on this, you can leave some comments below. I'm not sharing this to stir anything up. I'm sharing this to maybe just make a small connection with someone out there and maybe help myself. This is how I stay on the right track. This is how I stay in a in a pro-growth and in a moving forward spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally way. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye-bye.